Amazing before and after kitchen remodels. This San Diego kitchen already had a lot going for it when Murray Lampert started remodeling it. The space was generous. The kitchen had an island, cove ceiling, and plenty of room for counter depth appliances. But the kitchen was on the verge of becoming worn out and cosmetically outdated. This fantastically transformed kitchen was brought up to date, turning the island into a breakfast bar, stripping away the mid 2000s pendant lights, and adding glass mosaic tiles for the backsplash. The result was a bright, colorful, and highly functional kitchen that integrated well with the rest of the house. This small, 45-square-foot kitchen space in Pittsburgh was a challenge for designers Chris and Julia. It had a shoddy electrical system, a radiator in the corner, and insufficient counter room. Topping off everything, the kitchen belonged to Julia's aunt and uncle. This six-day transformation kept the subway tile, but so much is remarkably different. It includes Frigidaire professional appliances and sleek gray shaker-style cabinets. It now provides a professional-grade cooking and entertaining environment. Gwen Hefner of the Makerista was happy to pull the trigger on her kitchen remodel. She felt her kitchen was worn and tired, lacking storage, and missing function. This show-stopping kitchen rehab includes all new cabinetry, flooring, and countertops and all done on a budget. Gwen said she got a high-end look at a home improvement store price. Cassie of High Sugar Plum wanted to make mostly cosmetic changes in her functional kitchen. She didn't remodel, but instead refaced and retread her current kitchen. The star of this makeover is the statement tile, Marola 20's classic 7 and 3 quarters inch by 7 and 3 quarters inch ceramic tile. Cassie did not relocate a single appliance or change the countertops. She kept the island and cabinets and refreshed them with several coats of brightly colored paint. The star of this kitchen is the statement tile, Marola 20's classic 7 and 3 quarters inch by 7 and 3 quarters inch ceramic tile. Other substantial surface improvements included installing hardwood flooring and a new vent hood. New kitchen additions were a fridge, pendant lighting, and updated hardware for the faucet and cabinet pulls. Kitchen windows are lovely when they bring in natural light and charming views. But when the kitchen window looks out to nothing special, in this case, a sun porch, what do you do? The window issue was just one of the many problems that home blogger Christy at Addicted to Decorating wanted to tackle with her remodel. This gorgeous kitchen's cabinets are all stock, off-the-shelf oak cabinets from Home Depot. Christy hacked them to the hilt. She added decorative columns, furniture feet, lots of trim and crown molding, glass inserts in four of the doors, paint, gold leaf, pretty hardware, corbels, and sconces. All the cabinetry cost well under $2,500. In place of the window is a beautiful glass cabinet. Design blogger Kate, who goes by the moniker Sensational Girl, felt that her kitchen was far from sensational. From the floral wallpaper and gigantic fluorescent ceiling light to the outdated oak cabinets and creaky appliances, she wanted a kitchen redo. Now her kitchen shimmers. Light bounces off the hexagon pattern tile, oceanside tile, and Caesar stone quartz in pure white. The Click Studios cabinetry is a calming blue-gray hue and the insides were painted the same color for continuity. It's no mistake that kitchen designer Jenny Rausch at Car Bick in Brentwood, Missouri, felt connected to this project. This project was extra special for me, she said. I played in this kitchen when I was a kid. The clients wanted a significant change. The kitchen still had oak-trimmed white melamine cabinets from decades ago. Cozy Comfort rules this kitchen's fantastic all-over change. The design was inspired by the client's love for vacationing on the ski slopes and included a relaxing earthen paint scheme. The kitchen features premium quality kitchen cabinets and a unique countertop that mimics the striations found in sandstone. This kitchen was unattractive, however, the driving factor for Lemon and Thistle's Colleen Pastor to demo the space was not the cosmetics as much as it was the kitchen's non-functionality. The space had a non-working stove, an odd fridge, and no dishwasher. It was time for an overhaul.
This kitchen boasts a new chic farmhouse style. IKEA Ramsjo's cabinets and Super HD graphic soapstone Sequoia Formica countertops form the foundation for this kitchen's fresh new look. Food blogger Lindsay said her kitchen was dreary and no longer a fun place for cooking. Tired of the maple cabinets and dreaded black countertops, the massive kitchen island was clunky and way too big for the space. Lindsay sanded down the battered floors and stained them a rich walnut color. She replaced the maple cabinets with sparkling new white ones. The two big island came out, and the sink moved under the window. Now Lindsay and husband Taylor have the perfect environment for their culinary creations. Usually, when you remodel your kitchen, you can blame the design faux pas on previous homeowners. Carla Aston came right out and said she had no one to blame but herself. She had initially designed this kitchen when she moved in, around 2001. She couldn't wait to get rid of the textured, glazed wall treatment. This kitchen remodel is light, vibrant, and pops with contrast. Leather finish granite counters from Marin Cohiba balance out the creamy white cabinets and sleekly polished nickel cabinet pulls. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.